And Vashi Kapelos, the host of CBC's Power and Politics, joins us now with some pretty major breaking news from the nation's capital. Vashi. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, we have some breaking news. Jane Philpott, who is currently serving in the Treasury Board portfolio and Cabinet, has just put out a, a letter to the Prime Minister in a statement on Twitter saying that she is resigning from Cabinet. So Jane Philpott, currently Treasury Board President, is resigning from Cabinet. She is uh, known to be a friend of Jody Wilson-Raybould. Mm -hmm. uh, they are close colleagues. We knew that she had tweeted out something in support of Jody Wilson-Raybould when she resigned from Cabinet, when she was uh, sort of in the middle of the controversy over the SNC-Lavalin criminal case over the past few weeks. She's now released a letter to the Prime Minister in a statement on Twitter saying that she is resigning from Cabinet. I'll read a little bit of it to you. Uh, she, she first starts out by saying what a privilege it's been to be an MP and to serve in the various portfolios she's held. That includes Minister of Indigenous Services, uh, Digital Government, of course, Minister of Health, which she, uh, she held that portfolio for a number of years. However, she goes on to say, I have been considering the events that have shaken the federal government in recent weeks, and after serious reflection, I have concluded that I must resign as a member of Cabinet. In Canada, the Constitutional Convention of Cabinet Solidarity means, among other things, that ministers are expected to defend all Cabinet decisions. A minister must always be prepared to defend other ministers publicly and must speak in support of the government and its policies. Given this convention and the current circumstances, it is untenable for me to continue to serve as a cabinet minister. Unfortunately, the evidence of efforts by politicians and or officials to pressure the former attorney general to intervene in the criminal case involving SNC-Lavalin and the evidence as to the content of those efforts have raised serious concerns for me. Those concerns have been augmented by the views expressed by my constituents and other Canadians. She goes on to talk about uh, the principles of independence, I'm sorry, and integrity of the justice system. And the, the fundament, it is a fundamental doctrine of the rule of law that our attorney general should not be subject to political pressure or interference regarding the exercise of her prosec prosecutorial, I'm sorry, discretion in criminal cases. Sadly, I have lost confidence in how the government has dealt with this matter and in how it has responded to the issues raised. She says she regretfully resigns from cabinet. She will continue to serve Canadians in every other way that I can. She said she was elected as a Liberal member of Parliament and I intend to continue in that role. Uh, members of Parliament, she said, Canadians need the assurance that in all matters, members of Parliament will act in the best interests of the public. My decision has been made with that spirit and intent. So to recap, Andrew, massive news sure out of is. Ottawa here. Yep. Jane Philpott, Treasury Board President, has resigned from Cabinet following the events with Jody Wilson-Raybould over the past three weeks. I mean, Vashi, uh, we can't understate this, right? I no. mean, in terms of, we knew that uh, there was going to be fallout from the SNC live line, but they're just there are these unpredictable moments, and that's what happens yeah. when there's a scandal or a crisis. You could call this potentially a crisis for uh, the Liberal government uh, to lose Jody wilson able to have her demoted. You know, we, we could go through the timeline, but I think it is important. I think you really highlighted one of the key sentences in this letter, and that is, again, Jane Philpott, who is now out of the Liberal cabinet, saying, sadly, I have lost confidence in how the government has dealt with this matter, the snc Lavalin case, and how it has responded to the issues raised. That is a damning comment from it a is. cabinet minister. And, and, and let, me, let me just say, not just any cabinet minister, I mean, you're elevated to a certain level of significance as a cabinet minister, but Jane Philpott uh, is a highly respected cabinet minister. She is well-liked by her colleagues, well-liked by caucus, uh, a lot of respect within the bureaucracy of the various portfolios that she's held. Uh, we, we knew, for example, that she was close to Jody Wilson-Raybould, that they are friends. Uh, I, I mentioned that tweet of support. I, I can't remember the exact wording, but uh, after the minister, after Jody Wilson-Raybould resigned. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is, a, this is an indictment of the way that the government has handled uh, this issue over the past three weeks. And you mentioned crisis. I mean, this, this goes from scandal into mm -hmm. crisis territory yeah. with Jane Philpott resigning, and you've got to wonder uh, what shoe might fall next. Yeah, you're abs I think so. I think it's fair to say uh, that we can now call this a crisis when you have a cabinet minister resigning as a result of this. Just maybe take us back a little bit, uh, Vashi, to January, because ironically, uh, you know, she was president of the Treasury Board because uh, Scott Bryson resigned, and so we, we, we've seen these shuffles and these resignations, uh, you know, just kind of accelerate over the last 
is it is it six to eight weeks? Yeah, about, about that. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a long time. Yeah, as, essentially, you're right. Uh, her shuffle was precipitated. Uh, her shuffle from Indigenous Services to President of the Treasury Board was precipitated by uh, Scott Bryson leaving, which is also what we've heard the Prime Minister attribute Jody Wilson-Raybould's shuffle. So in that shuffle in January, Scott Bryson left. Jane uh, Jane Philpott took over for Scott Bryson in Treasury Board. Uh, she left Indigenous Services and and we saw uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould move from Justice to Veterans Affairs. And of course, that seems to have uh, prompted at least a lot of what ensued after that. Uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould says when she was moved, I think it was January 7th, she said she got the call from the Prime Minister saying she was going to be moved. And she asked him point blank, is this about SNC and a decision I would not take? He denied it. She also asked Jerry Butts, who, by the way, we're expecting to testify before the Justice Committee on Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. She asked him the same question, and he denied it as well. She said at the time that she took them at their word. Uh, clearly, she believed differently, but she said she took them at their word. We don't know why, in the end, she ended up resigning or what happened thereafter, because she thinks that the her interpretation of the waiver uh, of solicitor client privilege and cabinet confidence that the prime minister granted didn't extend to her time beyond when she was attorney general. So there, there are still a lot of questions mm -hmm. about what happened then. I'm certain there will be a lot of questions for Jane Philpott as well. She says she's staying on as a liberal MP using much the same wording as Jody Wilson and Raybould has about remaining a Liberal MP. Will the Prime Minister want her to stay in caucus? How will that work? Uh, what is his reaction? What is the government's reaction to this resignation? I mean, lots and lots of questions left after and, this. And, and